Welcome to part 9 of calibrating your 3D printer. This is going to be acceleration tuning. So we've done an awful lot to our 3D printer and now we're going to see how we can affect the ghosting on your 3D prints. As shown right here. So you can see this little Y starts to spread out as you have ghosting caused by the acceleration of your 3D printer. And so there is, once again, a Goldilocks zone, a sweet spot that we can find. We're going to come back later and do this calculating maximum feed rate, which is how we figure out how fast we can 3D print. So we're going to go directly to acceleration tuning, and we're going to need prawn our face again. But we do have a G-code generator, so we've got 220 by 220 on our X and Y dimensions for the Ender 3 V2. I'm going to go with 210 degrees on the filament that I'm using for the extruder, 60 degrees on the bed temp. I'm printing with PLA, so I've got a fan, 7 millimeter retraction distance based off some of the testing we did earlier. And also based off some of the testing we did earlier, I know that the Ender 3 V2 is a jerk configuration by running the M503 command, but we'll do that again once we're hooked up to the printer and printer face. But for now, I'm going to test from 300 to 800 on the acceleration values. Then we'll come back and do another test for the jerk XY values to see if 8 is really a good value or if it has any effect. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and download the G-code. I'm going to overwrite what I have. Let's go ahead and open this up in Cura to see what we're dealing with here. So we can see we've got this hollow shape. And it's got a Y here and an X here. And so we're going to see the different layers, the different acceleration values on the 3D print. So we'll put this G-code on an SD card, and we'll go ahead and see what happens. We've got the SD card in the printer, and we're going to go to Print, Acceleration. We're going to wait for the printer to warm up. And we'll fast forward through the print and look at the results. just finished our print and we can see a little bit of ghosting as we get up towards the top of the print. So right now the acceleration is set at 500. Based on this print I would leave it at 500. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the X and Y jerk settings and reprint and see if we can notice any effects in that. And then after we print off for the X and Y jerk settings we'll go ahead and hook this printer up to Proner Face and we'll update our values accordingly. So we're back on the Teaching Tech website, and we're going to come back and we're going to update our acceleration values to 500 across the board. And now we're going to change the jerk setting in the X. As well as in the Y. I'm changing these together. I'm not 100% sure if it's better to change them individually. I would assume that you would want the same value for your X and Y jerk. So that said, I'm going to download the G code. I'm going to save this one as acceleration jerk. And we're going to put this G code onto our SD card and go ahead and print it off. So we started
start to see some effects up towards the top. I'll go ahead and rotate it around so we can look at the X as well. In this case, I'm just going to leave the X and Y jerk alone at 8. But what we're going to do next is just hop into Proner Face, and even though I'm not going to change my acceleration or jerk settings, we're going to show you how you can run an M503 command and see what your current values are, and also show you how you can change them if your test was different than this one. So we are in Proner Face. My 3D printer is connected, and we're going to run an M503 command and figure out if our 3D printer is jerk or junction. So if we come right here to this area, around this M205, we can see that this Ender 3 V2 says X, Y, and Z jerk. And so that tells us that our 3D printer was jerk, which is why we ran the test with the jerk settings instead of the junction settings. Now, if we want to edit what our acceleration as well as what our jerk settings are, let's take a look at that and go to the Teaching Tech website. So in my case, I'm not going to change anything. I'm going to keep the base settings of 508. But let's look. So if we ran an M204 command, P400, this will change our acceleration. So let's just go ahead and run that. And then we can always change it back. So it just sent. So now the acceleration will be set at 400. Now this could be overridden in your slicer software. But by default, it's going to go what's on the EEPROM. And so I'm going to go ahead and run an M500 command. And this will save it to EEPROM. I'm going to change mine back later. And then if we wanted to change the X and Y jerk, I'm going to have mine set at 8. So M205 X8 Y8. So just sent, and then we run an M500 command to save it to EEPROM. And that's it. That's how you adjust your acceleration and jerk values. If you did junction, if you had a printer that had junction, you would just do this M205J for junction and change it to whatever value you wanted. So that's it. Hi, this is Kenny Rains with Rainmaker 3D. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to press the like button if you learned anything or enjoyed the video. And also smash that subscribe button for more tips, tricks, tutorials, and time lapses.